Hey, boys and girls, the old clock on the wall says it's time for... Glumkin the Clown, the Kitty's Pals. Hi, kitties. It's your old pal, Glumkin the Clown, here with another show. Uh, today we have our little friend, Cicero the Parrot. Uh, say hi to the kitties, Cicero. <coughs> Don't tell me what to do. Uh, hopefully this show will be one of our best. Uh, that shouldn't be a hard act, though. We haven't exactly set the bar very high, I dare say. Uh, our ratings are dropping, and if they don't start going up, the sponsor will take the show off the air, and Glumkin the Clown will have to go back to doing parking lot circuses again. Uh, and that wouldn't be good. Uh, that damn cold air isn't good for my bursitis, I dare say. It's bad. It's real bad. About a year ago, it acted up, and I couldn't lift my arm to put my makeup on. You know, clown makeup. So the station manager sent his secretary over to do it for me. Ah, she wasn't too happy about that, I dare say. Ah, I can't blame her, though. It's not a pleasant job. Ah, she was so mad at having to do it, she wrote, kick me on my forehead. Ah, I couldn't figure out why people kept kicking me all day long. Ah, then I looked in a mirror. I, I figured it out. <laughs> Yeah, so I would appreciate it if you kitties would keep tuning into the Glumkin the Clown show. I don't like getting kicked around all day. So, well, if you remember last week, we asked you kitties to write in with things you'd like to see on the show. Ah, we figured if we did something you'd like, maybe it wouldn't turn the program off so soon. So, well, let's see what we have here. Well, here's one from Bobby Gower of Scuttlecrest Ridge. He's six years old. And he wants to see Glumpkin the Clown get shot out of a cannon. Oh, boy, I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, you better do it. Give the public what it wants. I don't think that's such a good idea, I dare say. You see, I was shot out of a cannon back when I was working with the Flywheel and Shyster Circus. I had didn't go too well, I, I can tell you that much. You see, Mr. Flywheel was the circus master, and, and he was mad at me. Oh, I can't say I blame him. I owed him $300. So he put too much powder in the cannon, and when it went off, it sent me clear into the balcony. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, there wasn't anybody sitting in the balcony at the time. Well, that's because it wasn't a very good circus. People didn't like it much. I think that's why Mr. Flywheel was so upset with me for not paying him back the $300. With his circus being that bad, he needed the money. Uh, so the good news was, since no one was in the balcony, nobody got hurt. Uh, but the bad news was, since no one was in the balcony, uh, there was nothing there to break my fall except for all those wooden chairs. Oh, that hurt, I dare say. Well, I see that we have the cannon all ready to go. Uh, Mr. Producer tells me it's either this or go back to the parking lot circus and having my bursitis act up again. Well, neither of those choices appeals to me, I dare say. Okay, well, let me get this and get in here. Uh, oh, oh boy, it's, this is kind of tight. I guess old Glumpkin the Clown has put on a few pounds since his flywheel and shyster circus days. Oh, oh. <coughs> okay, I'm in. Oh, Cicero the Parrot, uh, you're going to light the fuse, right? Sure, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Well, I don't owe you any money, do I? <laughs> Well, okay, I'm ready. Uh, it's a good thing uh, our studio doesn't have a balcony. Just those steel girders up there. All right, I'm lighting the fuse. Uh, wait a second, uh, this is pretty tight. Uh, in fact, I, I think I'm stuck. I can't move, I dare say. Uh, that, that could be a problem. If I'm stuck, I may not come out when the cannon fires. <laughs> Uh, Cicero, I, I am stuck in here. Uh, you should put the fuse out. I can't understand you. I'm just a bird. Uh, Cicero, put the fuse out. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be a good idea, say. Fire in the hole! Oh, boy, that's going to hurt for a while. Well, I never made it out of the cannon. I'm really stuck in here. Oh, can somebody give me a hand? <clears throat> Anybody? Uh, Cicero, can you give me a hand? Hello? I don't have any hands, just wings. Well, the old clock on the wall is telling us it's the end of this show, so until next time, this is Glumkin the Clown saying goodbye. And remember, keep a happy thought. Uh, could somebody help me? Uh, I think my pants are on fire. Glumkin the Clown, the kitties. Ah!